Hello, welcome back to IT Security Labs. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to monitor your critical websites and web applications using Grafana. I'll be showing you how to get the general information about your website, like ping, DNS, HTTP, HTTPS information. And I'll also be showing you in depth information about those metrics. For example, if you want to know what your web health is like, you'll be able to see. I'll explain what all this means and also how to interpret the information and also how to set it up in real time for free on Grafana. I'm going to assume that you already have a running Grafana installation and if you don't, please follow some instructions on my YouTube channel which I will have in the link description below or just click on my name. So without wasting time, let's start by defining what we have here. This video is for those people that are responsible for critical applications that run on the internet and also those people that are responsible for websites. You want, if you are someone who is managing a website that is running and people want it to be up all the time, people want to know what's going on with the website, people want to know whether there is good information and also users can reach the website and if there's any errors this video is for you because you're going to want this you'll be notified when the website is being slow to your users you'll be notified when users cannot access your website and above all you would know where the issues are because we'll isolate the issues by location as you can see right here in this video we are going to be using an application by Grafana called World Ping. This application is free for the 1 million probes and after that you have to pay. So in this lab I'm going to my monitoring of my website www.africancoupons.com and this is the website. So I'm monitoring the uptime for this website and how my visitors are visiting this website. If there's any issues to people going to africancoupons.com I will have to know and I will also have to be notified because we are selling product from this website. This website actually is for sale if anyone wants to buy it it's going to be posted on Flipper sometime soon so it's not up and um, it's actually a domain that I created it's going to be for sale but we'll be using this as our example to monitor it. As you can see if we go back to our Grafana, we already have some errors. As you can see right here, I know that people from Tokyo might be experiencing some issues. So uh, are people from New York and all that. So how do we get this information here? That's the first thing. You have a website, you have a working Grafana. How do you get this information here? How do you get to be able to know what your ping information is like? First thing that you're going to need is the Grafana World Ping plugin. This is the plugin. You can find it on uh, Grafana Labs under the plugins. It's very simple to set up. All you need to do is just copy this. That's uh, the command to just install the plugin into your uh, Grafana. As you can see right down here, I'm already logged into my Grafana. If you're running on Docker, you need to go and say Docker exec. The, then dash it grafana bin bash and once you do that you'll be able to just run the same command if you're not using docker just run this part in your vm or whatever machine that you're running and you'll be able to just install the application as you can see it's going to try to install but i already have it so i don't have to restart so once you install it and you have to just go back to your grafana under apps and plugins right here you should see installed apps and as you can see I have Cloudflare then I also have uh, Word Ping. My Word Ping is already set up the only thing that you need is a Grafana account and then once you go into your Grafana account you need an API the only thing the only thing that you need to set Word Ping in your Grafana is going to be your API I'll show you guys, I'll post in the link below how you can add your own API. I won't show you because this is private to me. 
I don't want you connecting to mine. But once you have your API, all you need to do is come in here and do an add a new node. Then once you do an add a new node, all you have to do is just say www.lahilabs.com. That's my other website. Then you can do a begin auto discovery. This process will discover a website for you and what metrics should be configured. As you can see, you just found my um, website. It's complaining that I'm exceeding the free version, but you can always go and you see ping is not enabled. If you do configure, you can always check this and then hostname www.lihelabs.com. HTTP is also not configured, so I can just do a configure enable and on the host name I can just do www.ihelabs.com that's all you need to do to add a host and then after that you can just hit add and this will add your host and it will discover all the metrics that you need so going back to my example africancoupons.com so after you add your node you'll see this information it will just populate automatically um, First thing that we need to understand is we have our DNS information here. DNS uptime. What does this mean? So let's go ahead and find out what our, what what DNS information we have. DNS health. It says okay. So that means that we can reach our website through the DNS name and it's resolving correctly. It says DNS answers here. I have two because it's resolving to two Cloudflare web servers. And this is the latency that I have. And this is also the uptime. So this means that I'm not running into any DNS issues for now. DNS performance, as you can see, I have a list of places where I'm checking in to my website. This is locations that are checking into my website through DNS to see if I'm actually up and also the average time that they get a, resp a DNS response. So what you're looking at is, as you can see here, Los Angeles, has the highest uh, time uh, responses. And then, of course, Amsterdam is also the fastest. So this tells you something about uh, my website and where it's located and how my uh, providers are reacting. And I also have a map here that shows me some errors and where they're coming from. This is very helpful if you have users and uh, customers who are complaining about not being able to reach your website. As you can see, I can actually come here and look and see, oh, my customers in London have been complaining about uh, slowness. And you also see that on the latency right here. So that's the information that you get from DNS. This is very helpful if this is an e-commerce site and I'm selling products and I really have to make money and this is the one way or the only way that I make money. So these metrics can be very important. I can also check by ping, which is um, you know the holy grail of all um, IT stuff. As you can see, packet loss is zero percent for my ping, and my health is okay. I have a very consistent ping rate right here. I'm not actually dropping any pings. As you can see, this is very important for a website, especially for an. E my times here, my average, my average times from different locations. This is very important when a user calls you and tells you that your website is very slow. You can come in here and ask them where they are, see how close they are from any of these. As you can see, my Brazilian customers might have uh, very slow connections, they might have uh, more trouble compared to my Sydney cu customers right here because this is what uh, my website is doing. So this is very helpful if you really need these metrics and your boss wants to know that uh, your e-commerce site is up and running in real time. And then um, the final one is the web, which is what you need right away. Uh, I actually have very interesting information here. I have web throughput here. You can bench benchmark the throughput is 300. You know you have a problem. And same as um, web response and web uptime and also in your web help. <laughs> your web performance here may be very helpful if you're not colorblind like me. I don't find a lot of 
uh, help here because most of these blue circles look the same to me. They're up here, they're down here. I know there must be some purple. Uh, was this, 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 and this, and that? But you can use this part. I just use this um, legend as an example. So I know that um, my customers in Tokyo will probably have um, more issues than those in Amsterdam and those in Chicago. And I also have a map that shows me that uh, there's some errors in New York and um, South Carolina. So I hope you guys find this information helpful. And if you do, please go ahead and subscribe. But this, is, this information can be very helpful for those who are managing critical web applications, websites, who need to be alerted in real time. You can actually create alerts on all this information and you'll be they will let you know right away if something is actually not working. So if you like how uh, these graphs are, just go ahead and follow my Grafana. If you like this content and you would like to be notified when I post new content about uh, Grafana and other monitoring tools, please go ahead and subscribe. I appreciate your subscriptions and also you watching my videos. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video when I post more wonderful content.